When I'm working as a, as a counselor or a spiritual counselor, um, clients want to climb the ladder of treatment and they want to move forward in their lives, which is understandable. We all want that direction and that idea of moving forward. Um, in treatment, that's a therapeutic issue. Uh, I don't mean that as an evasion. I mean our conception of what it means to move forward is a therapeutic issue. Um, so the answer that I used to give clients when they would ask, you know, when is it time to go? When am I ready to leave, let's say? I used to say, um, when you're willing to stay. And it wasn't a, a joke, and I was taking their question sincerely. I wanted them to ponder, what is this urge to move out? And what do I think is at the end of this journey? And what happens when people come into treatment is there's an illusion that when I leave treatment and I get my freedom back, um, the freedom to do what I want, when I want, how I want, um, that it's some kind of promised land that life's going to feel better, it's, and then, I can, you know, then, I'm, then I'm back to my life and everything's back to normal. But your life wasn't normal before you got there. You had an addiction problem and you were suffering. And in fact, when you leave treatment, life is more complex and difficult with less support. So it's actually harder. You know, I had a counselor that told me when I was in treatment, the only thing that should change when you leave treatment is your address. And what he meant by that was all of the tools and ways of being and the support that you've created while you're here and the kinds of choices that you make and the things that you've been doing and the things that you haven't been doing, all of that should stay the same. Therefore, don't think because you move out of treatment that that's gonna relieve your stress and anxiety because that's what's driving this idea of moving forward, right? There's a, beyond the fact that we all wanna move forward in our lives, which is a complicated thing to even define, um, there's a stress and anxiety that exists inside of all of us at all times. If you're active in addiction, there's a stress and anxiety that's really powerful on us. And we think, if I can just get through these obstacles and move forward, that will relieve the stress and anxiety. But actually, what relieves the stress and anxiety is dealing with the underlying conditions of the stress and anxiety, integrating them into your life and your being, and living well, you know? Uh, what relieves the stress and anxiety in my interpersonal relationships is not getting away from them. Then I'm just guilty because I'm not around, right? I have to work through them. And that's what we're actually doing in treatment. So it's really a reframe. So you've got to reframe your idea of moving forward and you've got to reframe your idea of stress and anxiety. Another thing I used to do is I used to say that feeling that you have, that restlessness, that boredom, the anxiety that you feel, that's your ism. Meaning that is the underlying cluster of feelings that exist inside of you that drive you to use drugs and alcohol. So every time you have that feeling, that's a signal for you. Something's up. I got to treat my ism.